to the right back of Lysenia Raura and the left back for the Fiji side is Kavaya Rawanga and the two centre backs there of Remu, uh, Remiro Tekiate with uh, Colinio Sivoki. They have got four midfielders and uh, on the right hand side uh, to the uh, central midfield rather is Ame Wototiu and uh, Dave Ronrika. So that's interesting for Fiji as uh, they have decided to have Dave Ronrika coming in the centre midfield position and uh, the right midfield is centre in use with uh, the left midfielder Christopher Wasasala, the current uh, highest goal scorer in this competition with four goals to his boot. Uh, and the Fijians have uh, City Vini Babu Langi as one of uh, the strikers there with uh, Napoleon Nikasi Bakati. The Fijian national anthem is what we have on the screen at the moment. Fijian national anthem, God bless Fiji, as they get ready for this big match. And now the focus goes to the host, Vanuatu. There's the Vanuatu spirit here for this big match against Fiji in the 10th Pacific mini games. The uh, two sides will be going for the top of the table position that is up for grabs here. The winner, remember, more particularly the host Vanuatu side, has a great opportunity of grabbing the three points and uh, breaking away uh, from the close contenders uh, of Fiji and the Solomon Islands. But then we will have to wait for Solomon Islands versus Tuvalu match that will take place uh, after this match here at Municipal Stadium in Port Vila, Vanuatu. It's midday here, local time in Port Vila, Vanuatu. That's your match referee this afternoon of David Yareboinen from Papua New Guinea, assisted by Johnny Niambo from Solomon Islands and Noah Kusunan from Papua New Guinea with the fourth official and or the reserve referee, if you want to call him Nelson Songo from the Solomon Islands. That's a fun one to line up there on your screen. Chikao Mansale, the 29 year old, to Fuji Imere goalkeeper, uh, makes his return after Dick Tawia uh, played in the last match against Tonga. So, two changes there with Alex Saniel coming in for the suspended El Kington Molivakarua. Remember, El Kington is out with a double yellow card that left midfielder. Otherwise, Vanuatu has the same lineup that played against Tonga. Godsem Dona is part of their left defender and uh, the two central defenders of Joseph Earwell and Jason Thomas uh, and uh, of course uh, the uh, right back for uh, the Vanuatuans uh, is one of those impressive young stars uh, of Selwyn Vatu. They have four very strong midfielders, remember, in John Alec, uh, Jackie Ruben, and uh, on the left will be Alex Shanyal and of course Azaria Sormon are meant to watch in this match. Watch out for number 20, right midfield Azaria Sormon. 
but then do not get your eyes off this man here number nine Bongkalo and he will be a danger man for the Fijian defense to take care of this afternoon along with Tony Kaltak as the second forward for the Vanuatu side that's the lineup for these two sides a very important encounter in terms of the medals that is on stake in the 10th Pacific mini games here in Port Vila, Vanuatu. We say a very good afternoon to everybody around the Pacific region who are watching on your screens. And a special mention to the Fijian fans back in Fiji watching us on the FBC TV out there 2 p.m. in Fiji and not forgetting those on the live stream around the globe enjoying the broadcast from here in the 10th Pacific Mini Games. We are at the Municipal Stadium here in Port Vila, Vanuatu. The Vanuatu straight away start possession play here. They go to the left hand side. Alex Saniel is surrounded by the white jerseys there. And Fiji just put it outside. The Vanuatu will come in with a throw in now. Quick one taken. This is the man Bonkalo. And that time just a brief show from him as the cross comes in deep one and Takiate will clear it away for the Fiji side. This is Garcia Vacatini who has been given the nod in this match. This is the first match that he is starting off with. From Babu Village between Nandi and Singatoka. Here is Kavaya Rawanga. Ami. Aishinia Raura. Fiji has ball to their toes. What can they do? He has Garcia Vacatini but the flag is against him there. So Vanuatu very much organized in defense and uh, ensuring no movements and penetration by Kasi Fakatini on that occasion unless it is illegal from that offside play. Now they come into their favorite side. This is where Vanuatu will be trying to play it as their man Joseph Iaruel with the delivery. Fijians with ball in defense though Takiate the captain loses it Bong Kalo this is the bomb and the Fijians managed to bring it away still there for them to tidy Bong Kalo gets it away that's number nine Bong Kalo on his screen watch out for him right throughout the 90 minutes and that is exemplary of Bong Kalo number nine who plays for Escona FC he was on a three months attachment in Switzerland this Bong Kalo number nine for the Vanuatuans and he has earned a crucial possession for Fiji there. Above Vanuatu there. There he is, number nine, Bong Kalo. Good delivery. In the box, nobody connecting to that one. Saniel comes in now. Fiji, Ame Vatuniu. And they hold it there, Fijians. Confident defending there at the time. And Ame Vatuniu, the cake is hardware employee in Nandi. They go to the right hand side. Here is Setereki Hughes. He has a lot of space, but Vanuatu quickly regathered there. Cheki Ruben was the man who spoiled the Fijian possession and goes back to the keeper. The 29 year old Tupuji Imire, goalkeeper, Chikau Mansale. This is Selwyn Vatu. He will be coming in with some very crucial delivery. This is one of them looking for the strikers of Tony Kaltak. Still Tony and Vanuatu. This is the second corner kick. They dominate possession. They are very offensive. And they get the second corner kick here. Just in a minute. This time Azaria Soromon. Another of those to Puji Imiare football club player. Remiro Takiate underneath that one. Tidies for Fiji. Only as far as a throw in there. Shelvin Batu, number five for the Vanuatu side. There he is with the throw in. Near Jackie Ruben on for Batu. This is what he is all about coming in with the delivery. But so far, he has not been able to get the planned delivery. Shelvin Batu, the lanky. Number five, only 19 years old. And also a student at Lycée French School. 
Shelwin Bat. Tiding things was Jason Thomas for Vanuatu. This is Sekereki Hughes now from the right inside for the Fijians. Leishini Raura. Shivuki. He has the difficult part there but manages to get it out for his captain. And now it is Rawanga. Kavaya Rawanga from Maduata delivering it to the right inside there. Now they play it through there on the right inside is Hughes. Shetureki Hughes has some space given for Ami. A crossfield pass. This is Christopher Wasasala, the highest goal scorer at the moment in this competition. With four goals to his boot, Christopher Wasasala from Kia Island in Lambasa and playing for the champion Lotoka side in Fiji. Now this is Bong Kahlo gaining the territory there. Goes away from two Fijians. Can he continue doing that? The Fijians regroup there, but still the uh, Vanuatu side. A cross field pass from Ruben. On for Godsem Donna, the Emical FC player. And here is Alex Saniel, who watches footwork near Donna. Le left back overlapping. Near Ruben. And that flies over the crossbar. Guided by the Nisao ne Mua. Tai Levu player. Simeone Tama Nisao playing for Rewa back in Fiji. He will take that kick. A police mobile employee back in Fiji. Simeone Tama Nisao uh, from Nisao Mua. Tai Levu. Well, there's a bit of concern for the Vanuatuans in their center circle as one of their players is down. Still trying to identify what really happened there. As uh, the Vanuatuans, the green jerseys surround him. They're concerned with the status of his injury. The medics are also there. It's a good start to this uh, match here. As uh, the uh, that's the play, Jackie Ruben having a swipe at the goal. We still do not have the identification of the injured player on the ground and uh, he's still trying, oh, it's uh, Jason Thomas the instrumental defender Jason Thomas there he is number four looks all right to uh, continue participating in this very important match for his country and the referee has come across to have a discussion of what really happened there because the focus was in the Fijian half and something happened in the center circle. And uh, let's see. Oh, he has given the signal for the goal kick to be taken. And Rawanga quickly runs back there. The shop and save employee in Lotoka. Avaya Rawanga from Maduata in Lambasa, though. It's a huge delivery. Here is City Veni Ravo Ilangi. But uh, a bit fast for him, the goalkeeper. Chico Mansale with the abundance of experience around him here well this man number three who just delivered was on a football scholarship in New Zealand last year and he's back home here 19 years of age and yeah, this is Solomon one of the impressive players here is Bong Kahlo the player that the Fijians must have mapped out to shut down in this match but there are others they also have to be wary about. One is number 20, Azaria Sorman. Jackie Ruben is another. John Alec is another. And of course, they have got um, Tony Kaltak and Selvin Vatu. So it's a team effort for the Vanuatuans. They have been very impressive so far. Two matches, six points. One against Nicola Donia, 2-1. And it was number 20, Azaria Sorman, that caught that winning goal right on the dot dot of the time getting the winner and the last one was against Tonga 5-0 so impressive start for the host a lot of hopes from the Vanuatu and fans and that is why you can see on your screen there in the background the number of crowd here is Fiji with a chance but then the flag is up 
the highest goal scorer of the competition, Christopher Uwasasala, the 23 year old from Kia Island in Lambasa. That time flagged down. It's Vanuatu there, Gotsham Dona on the halfway mark. Neil gains a lot of territory, but Fijian Shivoki is there to cover up for them from Namosi around Navua, playing for the champion Lotoka side in Fiji. Colin Shivoki in number 23. The Fiji take possession now deep inside the uh, Vanuatu half. With a throw in here from Hughes, Sederaki Hughes, Kase, Ekpo Sederaki, Raura, Captain Tekiate, a bit of miscommunication there, but doing enough for Fiji is Kavaya Rawanga. Tekiate, wonderful switch play there, good header there, good understanding between the two Fijians. Here is the delivery from Hughes. And uh, coming in the way is the green jersey from Vanuatu. Another switch play for Rawanga. That is wonderful control. The referee says a handball. Fijian coach Christophe Gamel off screen. This is the right of our screen. It come in the picture in a while. He's not happy with that play there. As here is the Vanuatu side. Jason Thomas and this is Selvin Vatu winning it away for Sormon Selvin Vatu pressing there and Takiate the captain for Fiji oh he gives it away there the step the direction of his 10 was not good on that occasion the captain who played a very impressive match against the Solomon Islands earlier on in the nil old draw whereby he dived on the line to save a sure goal for the Solomons. The referee has brought them back here for a free kick to the Vanuatu side. Something happened there that we didn't see. That is the referee from Papua New Guinea, David Yareboinen. Again, Bonkalo will take charge of the set piece with a one man Fijian wall. Davi the rest remain in the box for a space and man marking and here they clear it away and it's Vanuatu again come back on attack Bonkalo to the sideline looking for the soft delivery there and the keeper Simeone Tamanisau 35 years of age Tamanisau a policeman part of the police mobile squad in Suva and there are three of them from that same police mobile squad. Madhuan Gondo and Prejita Warinivalu, they sit on the bench. As here is a shot. Coming in uh, the time, no threat whatsoever from Tony Kalta. Fiji goes short with the goal kick there. Ramiro Tekiate. From Rambi Island. Ramiro Takiate, 28 years of age, playing for the champion bar side as well. Ah, I said champion Lotoka, champion bar, both of the well known sides there, back in Fiji football. And here is in the box, Joseph, Joseph Irwell, Selvin Vatu, back for Irwell, Thomas. Donna. They float it around Vanuatu, they keep it well for now. Hoshem Donna, Amical FC player. Make it close on for Thomas. That's a good switch play. Confident defense. Joseph Earwell. And also was Jackie Ruben, part of that one. Now, not really up to it was Keltak, Tony Keltak. Here's Ame Votoniu. Take it 
Olympic Tona. Paul Carlo. A wonderful delivery from him for Alex Saniel. They made some movements there, positional movements. Saniel has come to the right. Sormon is there on the left. Here again, it's on the, the Vanuatu side with the space there. What can they make out of that? And a bit hard, Tony Kaltak on the Fijian player of Tabe Ronrigai. Vanuatu fans very much enjoying the afternoon here just after midday in Vanuatu. We hope you're enjoying the broadcast as we do here in Port Vila Municipal Stadium on your screens. And even on the live stream broadcast coming in. This is Gase. He has a chance here. Needs to turn. And that final touch is not probably what Fijian fans would have wanted to see. Napoleon in Gase Vagatini. He knows what he has missed. Probably will watch it in the replay very soon. Wonderful chance there. The delivery came as this is the delivery coming in from Setereki Hughes. Gassi waiting for it, he went for it. He got the control, but that time the 10 was not favorable. The shot was not powerful. Thomas, PG regroup Sivoki. And Vanuatu, Jackie Ruben, and Kelvin Vatu, Fijian throw in. Rowanga across the pass there for Lechini Raura. He tries to bring it up to the halfway mark but has to turn around because the Vanuatuans have mapped it well and covered. Here is Rowanga again, one of the busiest players, but this time gives away possession as this is Boncalo. Wonderful footwork from him. Here's Jackie Ruben. Boncalo tries to come in with a shot and that's wide of the Fiji goal. Jackie Ruben, Boncalo combining well there. Boncalo doing all the talking as well. There's the Fijian coach at the bottom of your screen there. Christophe Camel, the French national, and the assistant coach, former assistant coach of Paris Saint Germain. And this one is a bit huge for Wasasala. to get back possession from the throw-in. Joseph Earwell on for Thomas, Jason Thomas. The Solomon Warriors player. Ruben. What they are trying to do is toil around with possession and then create some space while the Fijian defense will drift to their right. They will come to their right of Vanuatu. It is the left hand side of the Fijian defense. And this time it's uh, Gotsem Dona. This is what they are trying to do, mind you. We keep on watching that. Here is Jackie Ruben, but this time they go for the penetration pass. And Fiji read it well. Typical of Vanuatu has been that they will toil it around and suddenly the ball will be placed to the right midfield area. And there is the switch they try to do. But coming in the way is, is the white chassis there. And here's Dave, but then the Vanuatu side will go Bon Kalo away from two players. Still Bon Kalo near to the right foot. And no problem whatsoever to the experienced Fijian goalkeeper, Simeone Tamanisau. Again, Christophe Gomel. Slightly off picture. There he is. But concerned with the, the defense there. Allowing Boncalo the space and the time that he enjoyed just outside the Fijian box. Ami Botoniu from Yasawa. And this is a wonderful switch play by the Fijians as Wasasala with the sprint manages to win it away. But wonderful cover defense by number five, Selwyn Vatu there. That's what Christophe Kamel wanted all this while. And they did it finally. 
and Christoph Gemmel is a happy man on the sideline as he watches this man, the highest goal scorer in the competition, was a Salah goal, but watch the desperate defending, the cover defense of Selwyn Vatu. The corner kick will come in for the Fijians, the first for them. Here it comes in, tapped away by the goalkeeper, Randwing Guy underneath that one. Vanuatu pump it away, Alex Sanyal, he brings them out from trouble. And the goalkeeper, Tamani Sao and Takiati, the captain for Fijian team, the Pula boys. Another switch play, and this time it goes out twice. They have not been able to connect that switch play once they have. So one out of the three switch play for the Fijians have been successful. And here's the corner kick delivery. The goalkeeper looked a bit uncomfortable. Dave not getting the height he wanted. And now it's one more two from that halfway mark. They drop it now. And Sevoki knows that he has an experienced and reliable goalkeeper in Tamani Sao as he drops it back for him. There. Oh, uh, oh, 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 Donna from Alec and the e pass is not happening there for them. Afternoon here, Saturday afternoon in Port Vila, Vanuatu, and it's close to half past 12, 12 30 almost here in Vanuatu. So you can imagine the heat that is on the face of these players here. Dave puts pressure on the Vanuatu defense, but no problems for them. They're stable and they will bring it away. That's the goalkeeper. 29 years of age, Chikal Mansale, who had a stint with Emical and Hekari in the OFC Champions League and now plays for the Puji Imere. Now it is the Vanuatu ones, but PG win it back. This is Gotcham Donna. Good passes happening there for them and the foul coming in for Sorm. Zaria Sorman. Yeah, he is number 20. A bit of late challenge. Will the referee go beyond that free kick and flash a card? No, he's talking to the Fijian player. Leishenia Raura. Watch the challenge come in. He chops him down. And Azaria Sorman in a bit of trouble, but he's all right. And on his feet. Free kick. They go short to the left hand side. Kay Sharman was fouled there. No threat to the Fijian goal. You can see the Vanuatu fans still walking in. And also a good turn out in the embankment there. one remember is Solomon Islands versus Tuvalu but again we'll have a lot of resemblance on the top of the table position once again take note there's no finals here it's a round robin competition we have six teams we play five matches but this is match day three and match two match one so uh, New Caledonia finally earning their first three points out of the competition. Remember their captain, Kofin Poma, is out of the competition. Three match suspension for the incident in the Tuvalu shocking loss. The tour. Here is Jackie Ruben making good passes there. Wonderful football shown by Vanuatu. And this time they spoil it. Jackie Ruben. 
didn't see where was Selwyn Vatu. And there he is. Selwyn Vatu not really getting the pass he wanted. FEG in the defense area. Christophe Gamel is trying to get the Fijians play as much possession football as possible. And uh, it's promising sight of these Fijians, but they have been defending in this match here. There he is, the man in charge of the Fijian football for this year. And the shot coming in from Sormon, still there for the Vanuatuans. This is Kaltak and the space, the needed space, the desperate step not given to him. Vanuatu looked dangerous on the division. Got him done. Soroman. Infill pass. Jackie Ruben. He is here well. Nelson Winbat. Ruben. Beautifully switched onto the left hand side. Madonna. Watch him, Donna. And that's trying to drop it for the uh, players up front of uh, Tony Kaltak. Plays for Iraqo. Golden Star. And uh, the goalkeeper, Tamani Sao. The Fiji. The Kiate. Huge 10 out here. For this match more particularly. Kase Vakatini not getting the turn and touch there. His run ring guy to the left, Wasasala. This man is a danger man for the Fijians. Wasasala, wonderful turn, tries to penetrate that pass for Zawe Lagi. Not really able to do so. Ame Votoniu, the experienced midfielder. Plays as a defender for Nandi back home. And caught outside here is Kase Vakatini. And Christopher Wasasala. There he is, the highest goal scorer at the moment, four goals. Thomas Irwell. Selwyn Batu. They go for Alex Saniel. And Don Carlo just losing his footing there. Not slippery, but it's the expectation and the quick movement, the pace of the ball that got him down as he tried to turn and position himself. PG now from the defensive area, Sevoki. Takiate. Rawanga. Here is Wasasala. Now Fijians playing football here. Till Rawanga from the left hand side. Gase Vakatini. Wasasala. Good turn from him. Selvin Vatu, no, that is the defense of uh, John Alec that comes in to close down the Fijians. Rawanga with the delivery. Zavoy Langi underneath that one. No Fijians waiting. And Gase Vakatini again the shot. Nowhere near to what the Fijians would want it to be. Gase Vakatini, second chance to blast it home and not able to uh, connect to the nature of shot that he was required to do. So watch him come, number 15. A plunder by the defense, and that shot is a baby pass there to the goalkeeper. Here is Raura. Hughes, Raura. Infield pass, they go wide again. Watch him, Donna wins it back. Near Bong Kalo. Bong Kalo, here he comes in. And PG regroup well, they know what he is capable of. They surround around him. Gase Vakatini, good pass there from him. This is Dave Ranringai and Selvin Vatu. Dave wins the race there at the edge of the box. Dave. Sitiveni flicks it up for overlapping. Setereke. Now this is Ame. Lays it out. Vanuatu defense just closing the space. The Fijians created, 
The cross was a Salah, and that's the first goal for the Fijians. It's celebration time for Fiji here. This is the man. We were talking about the highest goal scorer at the moment. This is the fifth goal for Christopher Wasasala. What a goal coming in. What a header. Forcing it to the far side. The man from Kia Island in Mombasa, 23 years old, playing for Lotoka Football Club in Fiji. And got that, that connecting header. The cross came in from Ame. What a forceful header that is. Bouncing in front of the goal line and then touching the net. The Fijians taking the L lead here. Fiji 1 and Vanuatu nil for now. And the referee has called for a water break, did they call it? Because of the heat factor that is here in Port Vila Municipal Stadium. As we are just over half past 12 here. Right underneath the uh, highly intensified heat. The hot scorching sun right on top of us. And the two sides. And this is the cross that came in. That is Setaraki Hughes. Watch him deliver. That came in. Watch number 10. And he throws his body to the ball. That's how hard working and hungry this man is always when he has ball to his toes. But credit also goes to Dave Ranringai. Sometime back, he started the play just into the Vanuatu half. And he took it deep. There is the Fijian coach, Christophe Gamel. Doing a lot of talking there to his Fijian boys. Yogendra Dutt there, the assistant coach. And that's the manager, Shamal. It also came in the picture. So they would want to keep this lead. And this one more to side, they will be dangerous trying to climb back into the game. That's the head coach for the Bonatuans, Etienne Mema, that came in your picture. And uh, one or two to restart play here. Down by one goal to nil. This goalkeeper, the experience of Chikau Mansale, that time not good enough to cover up that forceful header. A rare nature of header. What he did was a tricky turn and decided to drop the ball in front of the line so that the goalkeeper doesn't have an easy path reading and collecting the ball. And that bounce of the ball. Got the goalkeeper down on the deck and uh, the ball into the net. Here's Sorman for Jackie Ruben. They played across field and they have made positional changes now. Chelvin Vatu has gone to the left and Dona has come to the right. This is what Vanuatu is about. Here is Sanyal and Sanyal is flagged down there. So this is what they are doing. They are confusing the Fijians as uh, Chelvin Vatu. The delivery man from the right hand side has gone to the left hand side. Will the Fijians track that down or will he do the damage from the left hand side just like he did for now? That uh, through ball that was played for Alex Saniel and Saniel was caught offside there. The Fiji corner take now and Thomas puts it away for a throw in. There. And a special mention to the Fijians in Fiji watching on FBC TV and enjoying the lead at the moment that uh, they are star striker playing as a left midfielder in this match. Christopher Wasasala has given them for a while and also uh, acknowledging those of you on the live streaming. That's a huge throw in as we continue with our broadcast. For your convenience around uh, from here at uh, Port Vila, Vanuatu. Ten Pacific minigames. 
the final week is what we are into. We started last Saturday. We, here we are into the second Saturday of the competition. It rounds off on the coming Friday. Again, there will be three big matches on the Friday. But this match here will have a lot of resemblance. You have to note it down. The result from this match. Here is Sorman and they tries to slap it home. That man Azaria Sorman, number 20. But he did not get the connect he wanted. The Fijian coach on the sideline, Christoph Gamel, is not happy. They gave him a lot of space in the box, Sorman. Only 18 years of age. South delivery and uh, that will give back possession. One to Donna. Here is Dave again setting it up. Dave running guy in the box. The cross comes in and Vanuatu desperate defense there by Jason Thomas. And throw in to the Fiji side. So again, Dave running guy. He did almost what he did a while ago. Delivering from the left hand side for the cross coming in for the right hand side for Wasasala to nod it home. And this time, Thomas did well in defense, good defense by Vanuatu. Here is a cross not reaching their target. And Fiji still holding on to that Christopher Wasasala goal lead. It also pushes him up with the highest goal scorer list. Five goals, he got four against Tuvalu. And this afternoon, he gets the fifth against Vanuatu. A very important goal for the entire competition. Dona. Yeruel was on a scholarship in New Zealand, a football scholarship. And he's now back home here. This man, Jackie Ruben, has a lot of space given by the Fijians there. And again, Jackie Ruben gets that one-two passes. The 10 is good. Here is Kaltak, Tony Kaltak. And he comes in with a drive. Dona overlapping. Still Dona. And corner kick is what Vanuatu make out of the situation. Can Vanuatu capitalize? Can Vanuatu equalize? Bong Kalo. A lot of expectation on this man, Bong Kalo. Number nine was going to take the corner kick. As Fijian defense trying to close the angle. Here it comes in. And Fiji get it out from there. Vanuatu against Elvin Vatu. Near it is Jackie Ruben. And back it comes on for Iruel. Jackie Ruben. Tona. For Shemdona. Near Bonkalo. What can he make out from here? That's a huge drop in delivery. Who will get underneath that one? The Fijians head it away. Still there for Vanuatu. This is Selvin Vatu. Near Tony Kaltak. And he has an attempt. That's not the attempt that Vanuatu fans would have wanted here. He had numbers around him. He could have made the passes there. But he opted to come in with that drive. No damage. On the Fijian defense. And this time Fiji read that well. Setaraki Hills dropping it down to the boy who celebrated his birthday last night. Napoleon Ingasia Vagatini. The 24th birthday. But they haven't celebrated. As the manager Shamal said. They're waiting for the result of this one. And they want a celebration with a win from this match. He has already been given the gift by the coach. There he is at the bottom of the screen. Christoph Gamel. The better the gift to Gase Vakatini to start this match. Can he give back to the coach that is expected from him as a striker? So far, he has missed two cities. Not coming in with the shots that is required to finish home such crucial pos uh, possessions and 
Vanuatu on the other hand also will be looking back at the halftime break about their missed chances and their movements across the field. Here is Davoy Langi for Fiji. Sitiveni Davoy Langi, 23 years old. And uh, this time Fiji. And a free kick. Davoy run for Ngai. He's doing a wonderful job in the midfield area with Ame Votoniu. That's the midfield lineup for the Fiji side. Two midfielders in that 4-4-2 four -four formation. When on the right is Hughes, on the left is Wasasala. And Dave has gone up number 17 off screen. Yeah, the kick comes in on for Wasasala. There he is, the goal scorer. Watch him go again. The shielding challenge comes in and the referee says the foul is from Wasasala. And good sportsmanship shown between the two there. Just acknowledging the efforts of each other and coming back. There he is. Watch him flick. Watch him turn. Shielding by Watson Donna. And Wasasala got him down to the ground. Team Fiji leading by one goal to nil. The goal for Selwyn Batu. What for his delivery? Uh, that's cancelled by the Fijians. Here again, John Alec. Now for Gotsham Donna. Oh, they've given a lot of space. There's a flicking pass in the box. And the header. What a 10 by Kaltak. Tony Kaltak. Almost getting that into the Fijian net. The Fijians allowed a lot of space in the midfield for Gotsham Donna. And he came in with a flicking ball. Chipping it into the net. That is Kaltak. Almost getting the header. There is Gotsham Donna flicking it neatly. And the header targeted for the far corner. And Fiji lucky to escape that one. Chikau Mansali looking for the most appropriate delivery. If they have to get this ball and bring it quickly into the Fiji half, put pressure on the Fijian defense. Yeruel and Dona. It's a long ball played. There they are. They want it deep in the Fiji half. And now Davi Rodriguez surrounded by the green jerseys. The pass is happening for them. They will be dangerous here. Here they come, chested down by Dave Rodriguez. And this is Gase Vagatini chasing, but uh, a bit fast for him. Again, credit goes to Dave Rodriguez for the crucial intercept in the midfield for the Fijians. Bon Carlo very much quiet in this match this afternoon. And the through ball, Rasasala not really up to it. Sormon for the Vanuatu side from the right flank. There he is, still turning on for Gotsham Donna. The coach doesn't look happy. Look at him there, Fijian coach. Here is Vanuatu, Bong Kalo. What can he make out of this one? He goes on his own. Bong Kalo still there. Passes happening. Fijians intercept, but taken away by Jackie Ruben there. He has Bong Kalo to the left, infield. Now this is Sanyal, Gosham Donna is required to deliver from here. Can he make the cross or the infield pass? Here is Sanyal and standing in the way is Rawanga. Kavaya Rawanga, the Fijian defender. And the corner kick. A very, very crucial ball in this 45 minutes. And again, Bong Kalo will deliver. From this side, who will connect to the delivery is the big question here. There it comes in. The salt, the one two ones rather. Putting pressure. Still John Alec. Selwyn Batu. The delivery. This is what I was talking about. And the Fijians. Just cool, calm, collected captain. Takiate. Testing it down for the keeper. Tamanisau. Miro Takiate has 
been very, very instrumental in the Fijian defense. The 28 year old from Rambi Island in Fiji playing for Ba in the Fijian football competition. And now Fiji goes where they wanted to be. That is right on the face of the Vanuatu defense with this corner kick. As that will be promising for them before they go to their coach at half time break. What will they do from this corner kick? Going for it is the man of the moment, Mr. Fawasasa. Look at the corner flag there, confirming the wind, the breeze from the right to the left in the face of uh, the Vanuatu side as here is a kick carried away by Dona three minutes of added time that is minimum remember this is Raura on for Hughes Setereki Hughes still him wonderful turn delivery as well and Yeruel is doing good enough there to cancel that uh, threat but that will remain there now from this throw into the Fijians uh, Rawanga underneath that one Ron Ringai and he ends the throw in telling the Fijian player Rawanga to slow it down mate to Lutoka mates here for the national side Bula boys and there's a clearance and the foul the referee sees by a guy on Gotsham Donna. The Vanuatu with a free kick. We are less than three minutes away from the half-time break. Fiji leading by one goal to nil. And Mansale has called for Yaruel to come and take the kick because he wants it deep in the opposition half. They have managed to come there. As turning away Sanya. There is Jason Thomas. Looking around for the appropriate receivers. They go across now. Still in the own half here. Well, they want it quickly in the Fijian half. Here is Dona. And got some Dona's pass. Underneath is the Fijian captain. Wonderful passes. And they almost give it away there. This is the clearance coming from Fiji. Setoreki Hughes. And the Voilangi not really up to that possession. Here is John Alec. Gains a lot of territory and space for the Vanuatuans. But this defender, Raura, lays in your Raura. And he gives it away the time. The Vanuatu side has possession. Very important possession for them here. Jackie Robben and Boncalo. He turns, he drives. The goal defies there for Fiji. Simeone Tamani Sao. And the only thing he could do is let the Vanuatuans continue coming in with the pressure from this corner kick. Vanuatu fans desperate to see them get the equalizer before the halftime break. Boncalo, the man that we talked about at the beginning of this match showed what he is all about watch him there wonderful powerful shot and the experienced Fijian goalkeeper this time they come in again in the box cleared away Davoy Langi and dropping it out for a throw in but no more time for Vanuatu to look for the equalizer as Fiji escaped from the situation with the, the goal coming in from Christopher Wasasala Fiji lead Vanuatu by one goal to nil at halftime. Physical inactivity kills over 75% of adults in the Pacific each year. 
teaching children about healthy eating and physical activity is important. Helping children to be active at a young age could save their lives. Encourage children to be active and eat healthy. Encourage children to be active and to eat healthy. Encourage children to be active and eat healthy. Teams competing in beach volleyball at the 2017 Pacific Mini Games are not just here for the medals, but to qualify for the 2018 Commonwealth Games in Australia. Stalwarts of men's beach volleyball in the Pacific, PNG and Fiji are vying for that sport. PNG has so far won two of their matches against Kiribati and Solomon Islands. Our preparation goes back to five months ago when we had our Australian coach head up to PNG to host a training camp for the PNG athletes to train. And then the following three weeks, we went down to Gold Coast for a trial training camp. That's when they selected the last team to attend the mini games and the qualifiers for the Commonwealth. Also, Fiji has had a good run in their matches. Of course, uh, it will be PNG. Uh, I know it will be a tough game for us, but uh, uh, we will stick to our game plan and uh, uh, we will uh, execute what we have learned so far. They will now face their biggest rival, PNG. The violence against women in Vanuatu is a very big problem, especially at the community. People beat their wife, they beat their children, they do violence when the when something wrong, they do violence everywhere. Friend, do you know my skin is woman? Papa, do you know how to kill my mama? Tell him, let me stop. We teach uh, children at school to learn how we treat uh, women, how we respect women. Just the program has been implemented in Vanuatu since uh, 2010. So far, the program has grown throughout the country. Currently, uh, the program is implemented in seven of eight member associations of the Federation. The program has helped the boys and girls to grow this respect towards each other. I think that's the best part of the end violence campaign, which is we give this opportunity for our children to raise their voice. End violence! End violence! There was tough competition in tennis at the 2017 Pacific Mini Games. Vanuatu and Tonga clashed in the men's team singles semi finals. The first set was forced into a tie breaker. Tonga's Semisi Fanguna couldn't hold off the more experienced Vanuatu player Cyril Jacobi, who clinched the set 7 5. Cyril Jacobi came back in the second set to dominate the match. 
too many unforced errors cost Tonga the match succumbing to Vanuatu 6-1. With finals in sight, Cyril Jacobi is hoping for a gold medal. This was a good trial match for me. I, I really feel good now. Uh, my first two rounds were, were not as as challenging as I wanted to be, so I didn't really know where I was in my mind. And uh, But now I feel really good, so looking forward to the next match. He believes his win will help boost the growth of tennis in Vanuatu. Having, having, we have a really solid team working with the tennis development and, uh, and the federation is working well and my mom and myself working at the academy, but we're doing, I think we're doing a good job. We just need to build up a bit more mass with kids getting involved. I mean, as you know, Vanuatu, it's football, the number one sport, and second is boxing. So hopefully if we can get a gold medal here, uh, we'll change that around a bit. Girls are smart, strong, active and confident. Girls are smart and strong. Girls are smart, strong, active and confident. All girls have an important role to play in sport and life. But they can't do it without your support. But they can't do it without your support. We can't do it without your support. But I can't do it without your support.
We are back here at uh, the uh, Municipal Stadium in uh, Port Vila, Vanuatu, uh, and it's an exciting environment uh, in uh, the uh, stands uh, uh, despite the home side, Vanuatu, down by one goal to nil. That goal was scored uh, by Christopher Wasasala, and that becomes his fifth goal, uh, and he remains as uh, the highest goal scorer in this uh, competition with five goals at the moment. The Fiji there in the huddle, getting ready for the second half. They know that this score line means a lot in terms of uh, the effect it has on the standings uh, of uh, the competition. And here, this team knows that, that the crowd here wants nothing less than a victory. And uh, they are talking about what is to be done. Number six there of uh, John Alik. And number nine there, just uh, on the left hand side. Uh, Bong Kalo, the man who came in with that uh, shot at Tamani Sao. And what a save that was. 45 minutes of very important uh, moment for uh, the 10th Pacific minigames. It will be the birthday boy of uh, Napoleon Ingasse Vacatini, number 15. That will get the second half going here for the Fiji side. Here is Raura. City Beni Ravo Ilangi. Plays for Ba, but is from uh, Wainimala in Naita Siri. And works for SC Foods in Ba. That's City Veni Langi that just came in number seven a while ago. And Vanuatu start there. Number three, Joseph Earwell. Across field, Selwyn Vatu has gone back to his favorite position, the right back and overlaps very well. Watch him come in there. Number five outside is overlapping, and here is the shot. But uh, no problems the time for the Fijians. As Solomon came in with the shot. And again, it was Selwyn Vatu making that shot pass infield and then taking that run. There is Solomon with that shot. And Azaria Solomon, the 18 year old for this Vanuatu side, not really able to get the goal that Vanuatu is searching for here, the equalizer. Vanuatu at the moment, remember, has seven points, uh, not really seven, six points, and uh, two matches played. Fiji, four points, two matches played. And this result definitely is very, very important for uh, both the sides. Boncalo almost getting the space. Going is what the, the uh, Vanuatu side has. There is Selwyn Vatu throwing that ball. On for John Alec. That's a huge cross in the box. And Tamani Sao is the tallest of everybody there. Securing that dangerous threat that was pouncing on the Fijian goal. He is Tavoilangi. City Beni Tavoilangi. Originally from Uwainimala, Naito Siri. And there is Takiate, the captain. Rawanga, good 10 infield. Run ring guy, no Fijians overlapping. Wasasala was expected to take that run from the outside. And Vanuatu, go back to take that uh, throw in. Selwyn Vatu. 
Watch the crowd in the background braving the heat here. The 1 p.m. heat in Port Vila. Near to the Vanuatu side with the heel is cross. Can Sanyal connect? But Raura is there for Fiji. The short passes, they keep it confidently. Ame Votonu. Here is Wasasala watching come in. Wasasala is still there. And that's a wonderful pass made by Wasasala. What can Hughes do here? The referee allows for advantage play for Setereki. Still Setereki Hughes. And Sanyal has no option there but to boot it out of play. The Fijian coach off screen looks happy. As Fiji come in into the opposition half. There he is acting like the ball boy. Christophe Gamel and the throw in to the Fiji side City Venice Avoy Langi again they keep pressure on the opposition Leishenia Raura looking for the appropriate receiver this is Garcia this is City Veni. intercepted well by Dona Raura uh, Sivoki rather and out of play throw in to the Vanuatu side they need to get back in the game, Vanuatu, quickly as they can and get that equalizer if they're serious about maintaining the top of the table position. Here is Rawanga, Kavaya Rawanga and Wasasala. Again, a clever pass, characteristic of Wasasala. And the foul comes in the time from Bonkalo on the Fijian player of Seteraki Hills, the coach. Christoph Kamel there, concerned about Setereki Hughes. Getting up, both the players there, Bong Carlo and Hughes. And that's the challenge, watch Bong Carlo, desperate there for possession. And uh, free kick. Takiate, Sevoki. They would want to keep it there for some time and then switch it. And there they do exactly like that. Here is Hughes. And cleared away by Donna. Raura. Miss jump from him. And they say a yellow card is coming out. Now that will be a bit harsh, I believe. Because he went for the ball and he hit the body of Sanyal. We make it a replay to watch. There it is. Watch Raura 18 goes high. Now he was going for the ball, he was in air. Well, the free kick is justified. It is good enough, but the card a bit harsh. Nevertheless, it can't go back into the pocket. It has been recorded beside Raura's name. And here is Vanuatu. Headed away. Ame, further for Fiji. And this time, Bongkala goes back. Not really back, but on attack and fouls Ame. And Bongkala not happy with the referee's decision. There he is, number nine. Was on a three month attachment with the Escona FC in Switzerland and also will be going for a trial in Italy after the December Christmas break. And has a very promising future. This young staff, Boncalo, who is only 21 years of age. Fijian player is down, and that's Wasasala. The money man for the Fijians is down at the moment. As the Fijian medics there quickly run in. The referee talking to Iaruel. Will it be a free kick? Vanuatu Iarwell has ball in his hand. Vanuatu want to uh, quickly start play here. And uh, they have spoken with the referee to get Wasasala outside. Fiji lead by one goal to nil. That was scored by this man who is injured at the moment. 
There must be smiles on the Fijian faces as Wasasala is slowly getting up there and looks a bit uncomfortable. And so the Fijian medic still very much with him and ensuring that he is good enough to go back into the field of play. They need him there from the Fijian perspective. Mustafa Wasasala is a problem for the opposition. Now, Vanuatu, how will Fiji react with 10 players? They were good with 11. Can they do what they were doing with the 10 now, with a man out from that plane? Will they cover the angle? Davo Ilangi does well there. Chitiveni Davo Ilangi. And once again, Vanuatu. Here comes the huge drop from Thomas. Alba Sanyal. Here comes in Sanyal. And off a Fijian player. Look like Takiate. Alex Sanyal almost blasted it into the net as the corner kick Azaria Solomon he had the opportunity oh the defense comes in the way for Fiji Colonial Sivoki the corner kick and the ball has breached the line so that corner will become a nil for the Vanuatuans a waste and Fiji will be happy to come in with the kick there the goal kick and their goal scorer uh, Christopher Wasasala on the far side of your screen is all right and back in the field of play a huge kick from Tamani Sao straight to his coach Christoph Kamel and Gorsham Dona on for Thomas. Here well. Across field for Vatu. Selwyn Vatu. Here well. Thomas. On for here well. Again Thomas on the halfway mark. Bong Kalo has gone back to aid the defenders in supplying the needed ball up front. Alex Saniel and that run and that pass is not what they wanted there. Tamani Sao talking about the loophole that was created there and almost penetrating was Saniel for the second time. There is the 35 year old Fijian goalkeeper Simeone Tamani Sao from Naisau Mua, Talevu. Tabe Wanringai and Ame Botoniu and Fiji win a free kick there. The Vanuatu fans will not be happy at the moment. And I'm sure the Fiji fans, those at the residents here and the Fijian contingent, as, as well as those watching on FBC TV back home in Fiji. And of course, the live streaming. And not forgetting anybody else that is watching us this broadcast on screen whether live on television or the live streaming you see a very good afternoon from here Port Vila Vanuatu 20 past 1 is the local time and we are into match 2 of match day 3 the coach both the coaches came to the screen and uh, trying to ensure that they get the best of the results uh, and uh, more specifically Christoph Gomel would not want this one nil lead to slip out of their grip while Vanuatu Etienne Nama will be looking at ways that uh, Vanuatu can climb back into this match here is uh, Kaltak, Tony Kaltak a lot of space there on the right hand side for them, Shelvin Vatu. Moving to the Fijian half, there's a pass made. And Sormon. Fiji running guy loses it to Sormon. Here is Azaria Sormon Bongkalo. Comes in with a drive of Takiate, the captain. 
That's Romero Takiate, number five, that came in the way. Cancelling the onslaught that was coming in. Another cross. A header by Dave. Now Sivoki. And uh, corner kick to Vanuatu. Vanuatu decide to make uh, uh, the change there. Ronaldo Wilkins is going in the field of play in, play, in place of uh, Alex Sanya. 18 years old, Ronaldo Wilkins. Number 10, there he is with the first touch. Good delivery across the face of the goal. Still there for them. Sormon in the box. Thomas not really able to connect. PG win it away. And going back in is Dona. Here well. And here it is, number seven, Jackie Ruben. Thomas. And the shot. Off the white jersey for a corner kick. The moment to searching for the goal. Simeone Tamanisau guiding his goal as it is Ronaldo Wilkins who had two weeks of trial in Brazil. For the 18 year old Ronaldo Wilkins spending two weeks in Brazil for the trials and is waiting for the results from there. Comes in with the corner kick here, good one there, headed by Fiji. Again a corner kick, again the same man will deliver. Ronaldo Wilkins, what can Vanuatu make out of this chance? There he is, 18 years of age, two weeks spent in Brazil, going through a trial there. Now a short one. Boncalo, carried away by Fiji Raura. And Vanuatu will keep pressure on the Fiji defense. Here they come in. They penetrate from the left hand side, still Vanuatu. Kaltak, quick passes, and the shot from Ronaldo. This is Ronaldo Wilkins for Vanuatu. This is a huge delivery. And Kaltak, not really getting the space to nod it home, as goal kick is what Fiji will escape from. Ronaldo Wilkins, the 18 year old, number 10 for uh, Vanuatu. On the sideline, the Fijian assistant coach, Yogen Hatat, is up on his feet. And uh, the head coach, Christophe Gamel, is on the bench at the moment. Probably a change of personnel there. Try and talk to them in the big game. <laughs> the, uh, there's the cross there. The Fiji Hindustani, they call it. There's uh, there it is, one or two quick outside kick shot pass taken there. This is Ronaldo Wilkins. He has uh, gone for uh, Boncalo. Again, they come in from the left hand side. This is Gotsham Donna. Again, they give him a lot of space there. Gotsham Donna. This is Kaltak. Tony Kaltak. Boncalo. And that shot flies outside. He knows what he has wasted there. And this man, Tamani Sao, is not happy with the Fijians. And again, a bit of concern for Christopher Walsasala, who is down in the box. Needing medical attention. That is Boncalo. And there is Christopher Wasasala. Look at that signal coming in from Kavaya Rawanga. Looks like there will be a change made here. They are calling for the change. The Fijian money man, the Fijian highest goal scorer in the competition is in a situation of being substituted because of that injury. 
how serious, how severe, as the one or two ones have a check. They want the stretcher. And the stretcher is now being carried into the field of play. There they are. So let's see, will they have a review of Wasasala? Or uh, will they make a substitution as he is being stretched? The stretcher called in for sure means serious injury. As we saw Kaveya Rawanga, Tamani Sao, and the others surrounding around him. And there he is taken off the field of play. The highest goal scorer at the moment of the 10th Pacific mini games. Five goals to his name. And it is his goal, the fifth one, and the only one in this match that makes the difference between Fiji and Vanuatu. So looks like Fiji will go defensive as Ilechia Tuilau is getting ready with the coach outside on the line. A bit of brief for him while they wait for the chance to make the change as uh, Fiji win it away but this is Azaria Sharman still Fiji get it away in the midfield here is Setereki Setereki Hughes wonderful 10 from him away from Bong Kalo good 10 now Ame captain Takiate and on the sideline the stretcher carrying Christopher Wasasala in front of us here Fijian still playing with 10 players. He has a chance for Fiji. And Gase Vakatini. Almost a delivery for City Veni Voilangi. As we go to the sideline for the change to happen. Elechia Tuilau, a defender. Playing for Lotoka back in Fiji. Has gone in the field of play. In place of Christopher Wasasala who was playing left midfielder. So there will be positional changes. Probably Fiji will be trying to hold on to this lead or get one if they can. As a defender has been sent in. Ilechia Tuilau. The kick comes in there. Headed away by Thomas. Raura turns away. Lining up the left shot. Hits the post there. What a shot. Lacey Raura. And coming off the post. Still Fiji. Raura. Selvin Batu uh, heads it up front there, but uh, and this time Raura losing possession. Here is Jackie Roban. What can Vanuatu come up with this one? This is Ronaldo. Ronaldo comes in with a shot and not really able to connect. That is Ronaldo Wilkins for Vanuatu. Number 10. As Fiji trying to organize the defense. There is Ronaldo Wilkins, number 10, 18 years of age. This is Raura trying to get it to the left and comes in with a shot. Hits the post. The goalkeeper beaten. And here is the cross. Can Vanuatu capitalize? It's still there for them. And finally, Fiji will clear it away. Again, Vanuatu, Ronaldo. There is a chance for them, Sormon. And here is Sitrek, a huge for Fiji. What a save, what a situation for Fiji. Vanuatu trying to look for the uh, equalizer desperately. And this time, Fiji come up for the goalkeeper, Mansali. And the servant, Jackie Roban, taking it back to the halfway mark. There is Ronaldo once again. He's just 18 years of age, remember. And Jackie Ruben now. Jackie. Playing for Aerocore, and he dives for a penalty. The referee is right there saying it's simulation. If that is simulation, there should be a card for uh, this player, Jackie Ruben, who plays for Aerocore Golden Star Club. 21 years of age. We'd love to see the replay. 
There it is. He comes in, watching the Fijian defenders, and he trickled the dive to uh, the referee right there, the assistant referee right there, and they know that he dived for simulation there to get the match officials to award that penalty. And this time, a bit of blunder, losing the footing was Thomas. Here is Fiji Davoy Langi. Can they capitalize still Davoy Langi? Look like shoving him down was Gorsham Donna. We'll wait to see the replay of this one too. Number seven, City Beni Davoy Langi. And the Vanuatu one's not happy with the Elia moment where they claimed for the penalty. Now, Davoy Langi. City Beni Davoy Langi is still down on the ground. Needs medical attention. 23 years of age from Waini Mala Siri, working at SC Foods in Ba and playing for the Ba Football Club. Referee has a tough time explaining to the Vanuatu ones what really happened to that penalty that they wanted there badly. We will try and see the replay of what really happened. It looked like there was a shove coming in, a hand pushing him down. Now they have decided it will be a throw in, and Bong Kalo gets it over his own goal line, so it's a corner kick to the Fiji side. As Fiji hold on to the lead, one goal to nil. Can they survive this? Here is Dave Ronringai. The cross headed away from the line by Dona. Another corner kick to Fiji. There is Sitiveni Zavoy Langi, number seven, is okay and back in the field of play. The kick delivered a bit far ahead from the Fiji side. Still there for contention. Vanuatu clearing in desperate situation. Fiji win it back. And here is Dave Ranrigai. Good footwork. Manages to keep it for Fiji. It's right on the edge of the box. They bring it away, Vanuatu. And shielding and winning another throw in. Keeping the pressure here on Vanuatu. Fiji side. Lee Senior Raura with the throw in. That is Thomas and Dona. Here the way Pong Kalo not really able to hold on to possession and bring it away. And this is a blunder by the captain. Uncharacteristic of Takiate. Here is Tony Kaltak racing away, bringing the Vanuatu fans on their feet, but not really able to deliver based on the expectation on him. The Fijians regroup and Ame for the goalkeeper Tamanisa. The captain Takiate, that time a bit slow, and uh, Bongkalo. He's so fast and skillful, and he's searching for such situations. Almost punished the Fijians. And they play it in the box. The Solomon's closing it down there, and it's given to Azaria. And what a blunder by the Fijian goalkeeper, Simeone Tamanisau. A gift given to Azaria Sormon. He was trying to play it through the middle. That's more like a suicide by the Fijian goalkeeper. And he knows what he has gifted to the Vanuatuans here. There he is, Simeone Tamanisau, a disappointed a depleted, a dejected goalkeeper there. Watch him there. Trying to play that pass. Azaria Sormon plays well. He didn't delay in delivery. And this goal means the world to the Vanuatu ones for now. They're cheering. They're celebrating. They just wanted the ball in the net. And Fiji, how will they react to that lazy goal? that they have given away to the Vanuatu side. Azaria Sorman once again rescuing Vanuatu 
he got the winning goal for Vanuatu against New Caledonia in the opening match on match day one. And here he gets the equalizer and now is being replaced Azaria Sormon by number 12 Kenzi Tangis, another of those players to watch out for. That is the moment the Fijians would not want to watch. And Tamani Sao probably would not forget for some time if this match ends in a draw or a Fiji loss. Because Fiji had the lead gained by the injured Wasasala who is out of this match. And they held on to it. And they tried to hold on possession in their own yard. And they brought it from the left hand side. And it was more like a suicidal pass. Presley coming in from the left defensive side, putting pressure on the goalkeeper. And he tried to quickly get it out before the green jerseys could surround him. And under pressure, out of reaction, Simeone Tamani Sao, the experienced Fijian goalkeeper, has given away a gift to the Vanuatuans to celebrate at Park Villa here. The are in celebration as the kick comes in. This is a huge one. Tomas heads it. Fiji slow in defending. Still in the box. As cleared the way by Tavo Ilangi. Now Ronaldo. Wilkins Ronaldo. And that goes away. Still one all. Vanuatu very much up into this match. Good fight back, and they deserve the equalizer. They have been fighting for it from the opening whistle. And Fiji, they got that lead. And they're up at half time. In the second half, this man, Simeone Tamani Sao, look at the disappointment on his face as he comes in for the water break here with the Fijian bunch. And the coach is very much talking about the defensive end. Look at the coach. He gives a pet on Tamani Sao and says, that's all right, mate. But I'm sure the Fijian fans will not give the same compliment. There is what his direction. He could have sent it to the same direction, to the sideline on the left hand side of the Fijian defense, rather than turning in and playing it in the middle. They say you don't play a pass from that angle into the middle or from outside into the middle when you have the advancing attackers around you. So 1-1 one, one is the situation. Christoph Gamma is encouraging his boys not to give away the situation at the moment. Don't get carried away by the gift equalizer. But for sure, Vanuatu deserves that. They put pressure, and that is where Fiji succumbed to the situation. Otherwise, the Fijians would have a lot of space to clear it away from them. Here is the Fijian defense under pressure again. The one the Fijian coach, Christophe Gemel, is talking about the possession based football, the passes. And they also tried to do that in the defensive area. And this time, the decision making is also important there. As to when to pass and where to pass. As here is Vanuatu now, very much on a high. They're on a rampage here. And across 
the face of the goal shot. They had three players in the line waiting for that ball, but fortunate for Fiji, the three, none of them from the three could connect. Watch it coming. That is Tony Kaltak. Now, Ronaldo Wilkins, number 10 there. Oh, the direction of the ball was not as desirable as the Vanuatu and Ronald's player would have wanted. Here is the header. Now, Boncalo. And he's being shoved down. Still, he goes on his own. And throw in will come in for uh, Gorsham Dona. Boncalo wins it away. Raura. It is calling his Yuvuki. Raura flicks it away. Fiji under pressure and defense in their own half. And here it is. Kenji Tang is here. A lovely through ball there for Ronaldo Wilkins. And that's the through ball again for Kenji Tang. But Fiji, Takiyate, the captain. And they get it out to the halfway mark, Thomas. Uh, John Elkins and this is Jackie Ruben. The passes moving from Vanuatu. Thomas. Yarwell. Jackie Ruben. Intercepted by Dave. Ronry Guy. This man here, Dave, has been very instrumental in the midfield for the Fijians. He still goes on his own. There he is. Tave Ronrigai holding on to possession and uh, keeps the Fijians now deep in the opposition half with this ball going. This is the Ricky Hughes. Decides to send it back to the captain. Kiate across field pass that is Sevoki. Ame Onobori in the middle there. The passes for the Fijians again. Those important decisions and the angle passes is what is costing them here. And Vanuatu is punishing them here. This time they get it away. Ilechia Tuilau. And uh, putting it out is uh, the Fijian. The senior Raura is Fiji prepared to make a change. Rosiate Materorega is getting ready to go in the field of play. Also from Babu Village between Nandi and Singutoka has replaced this man, number seven, City Veneza Voilagi from Waini Malanaita Siri. They're playing for Ba Football Club back in Fiji. Here is Bong Kalo. Beautiful touches. Wonderful to watch. Jackie Ruben compliments that one. Takes it further infield. And now it is Ronaldo. Lovely chip kick from him. Back it comes Ronaldo. And Ronaldo fouls the Fijian. Tave Rodriguez. The Vanuatu also has Ronaldo. And he is Ronaldo Wilkins. And if you have missed out, as he has Garcia Bagatini in the box. And the goalkeeper is right there. Had a two weeks trial in Brazil, Ronaldo Wilkins. That's uh, a promising news for uh, not only Vanuatu football but the Pacific Island region as well. And uh, another of those impressive things here is uh, Bong Kalo. He's been on a three month stint, three month attachment with Escona FC in Switzerland. And his next trial is in Italy. This is Bon Carlo, the man we are talking about. And of course, the face of the goal shot. So, Ronaldo will be happy with his one on scholar because that still gives them to the top. That will give them seven points if it happens this way. And PG. Uh, from four will go to five, putting them in second. And remember, Solomon will have a game in the afternoon here. That you can watch again. As uh, they will take on Tuvalu. 
to if they get the three points from that match. With all due respect to the Tuvaluans who gave a shocking defeat to the Nico Berlin for two one earlier this week. And if that happens, then the Salmon will be tied with the Vanuatu with seven points each. Fiji will be left on the third. And the ball is sitting at three at the moment. Nickel Donny at three. As uh, this man will be dangerous again. Here is John Alec lining up the shot. Not really able to do so. Fiji isolated is David Ranrigai. The Fijians are way back in their half. David Ranrigai is isolated. And finally they come up to the halfway mark. Here is Takiate. And the pass is not happening for them. Taken away. Can, can see Tangis. Sivoki. Takiate. Tave. Ame Botonyu. A cross field pass. Changing the direction. Tava Yarawana. Intercepted by Yarwell. Here it is Ronaldo. And at the time he doesn't have enough space there to control the ball to his toes. This is maybe our Takiyaki from Rambi Allen back in Fiji. And uh, a very important member of the Bar Football Club. Fiji representing Fiji in the OFC Champions League with a previous season champion, Rilo Tokasa. A number of these players here are part of those two uh, top clubs in Fiji. the corner kick to come in for the Fijians now can the Fijians get the lead or do some damage on the opposition goal they decided to go back and defend for a while and that is where Vanuatu utilized and moved away from their area and got the goal pressure in Fiji to keep possession I think it again is suicidal to pass. He came in from outside, right to Tamanisau, not realizing the threat in Fiji's perspective. The three, four green jerseys that were around the box. Maybe the safety first rule was not utilized by the Fijians to tap. Is Kaltak on for Kenshi Tangis? Still Vanuatu. Tony Kaltak on for uh, John Alec. Alec, watch him move with the ball. And that's a good delivery. Waiting there is. Uh, and this is Kenshi Tangis. Near this Ronaldo. Clever 10 from him. And he ends up right in front of the box. Very important, very handy, very crucial for the Vanuatu and Sia. The free kick that they have earned from Ronaldo. That's the Papua New Guinea referee of David Yarabuinen. That is the free kick of the lineup for Boncalo, number nine. They try and release the bomb from here. With him is uh, John Alec and also Ronaldo. Ronaldo Wilkins, there is number nine. Watch the green jerseys moving there. Now will it be Boncalo? Will it be Ronaldo Wilkins? Will it be John? No, it is Bon Carlo. And that shot is no threat for the Fijians there. As Fiji prepared to make a change. Kelly Saukuru. Uh, this is the replay, Bon Carlo. He's that went away. 
Felix Saukuru has gone in the field of play in place of Kavaya Rawanga for Fiji. Bonkalo again, two Fijians have to surround him. I think the passes that the Fijians are making in defense. Inviting one or two right there. It's good to play possessional football, but you have to be cautious of the space and the angle you are in and where is your pass is going to. Nevertheless, it's Fiji with possession now. They are again from the defensive area, Takiate, they roll it around. Now, this is what the coach wanted, and now they have done it finally. Only one so far in the second half. And Ipeli Saokoro, there's Ipeli, good move from him. Now, in the box is Gase Vagatini. Here is Ilechi Etuilao, Amen Votonio, a cross field pass. Raura, no, that is Setereki, he was caught outside. kick to uh, the Vanuatu side Yeru <laughs> will be in charge of that kick he comes in looking for Keltak, manages to head it up putting pressure on the Fiji defense this time the goalkeeper Tamani Sao grabs it nicely Takiate, Raura. Bong Kalo wins it away, can he squeeze in the, the lead here? It is Kaltak with the shot. Here is Raura, OPG. Now they come in from the left hand side. He Setoreki Hughes. Still Hughes. Going on his own is Hughes. Five minutes of added time. Ipeli Saukoro. Underneath the cross. Yet we have five minutes of minimum added time. And that is the time that remains here for these two sides. And Dave Ramringai fouling Kenshi Tangis. So free kick. To Vanuatu. A very important match. In terms of the medal playoffs, not really the medal playoffs, but the medal tally. And uh, remember, as here is Tony Kaltak, will come back to the situation. PG intercept there, a very crucial intercept because Ronaldo Wilkins was racing through the middle to penetrate for that position. As here is Setereki, clever 10 from him. And Selwyn Bati, wonderful defense. From Selwyn. Tave Ramringai pushing it back for his goalkeeper. And Tamani Sao once again almost giving it away. And that time to that man who wants every ball around the box. Ronaldo Wilkins. And this time Tamani Sao does what he was supposed to do probably with that equalizer that Vanuatu was given. Here is Tuilau. This is Saukuru. Not really able to get the possession for Fiji. As Kuchem Dona. Plays it through for Bong Kahlo. Wonderful touches from the Vanuatuans. Kenshi Tangis comes in with a delivery. And carried away by the goalkeeper. The Fijian Tomani is out there. That was a dangerous shot from Kenshi Tangis. Who plays for Solomon Warriors and ends a corner kick for the uh, Vanuatu side. Ronaldo Wilkins goes across. Watch the Vanuatu fence. They're searching for the winner. This time they go outside the box. Shelvin Vato. And he tries to slam it home. But outside is the destination there. 
Tama Nisao. Quick one. They only have Gase to chase for. And the ball comes back, probably rushing from Tama Nisao. As here is Bong Carlo. Wonderful 10, but not the space there for him to keep it inside. Pelisau Kuru. Lichie Tuilau. Going back is still looking for the keeper. The crowd making the noise. And this time Rosiate Fogasi. Headed away by Tomas. Going to uh, Fiji. This time they are halfway inside the opposition half. And Ilicia Tuilau. We'll take that one. Yes, Ivuki. I'm going to new. Ipeli Saukuru lays it in. Kase Vakatini not really anticipating that ball as the cover defense for the Vanuatu side. They did very well there. The corner kick to Fiji. Can they utilize? Remember, we are in the edit time. Rather, it's a throw in. And the neat pass in the box. Rosiate tends. Still there, Ame. Rather, Dave, a running guy. Cleared away by Thomas. Outside the Vanuatu box is the situation at the moment. Raura flicks it out to the right hand side. Vanuatu ones pump it away. Here is Bong Kalo. Can he get the equalize the winner rather? Here is Bong Kalo dancing around with the football. It is Kaltak, John Alec. And that's a difficult one for Ronaldo Wilkins to chase for. There's still 1-1. One, one. As the kick comes in. And that confirms the full time here at the Municipal Stadium and Fiji. And Vanuatu, they fight it out. Wonderful football displayed by the two island nations. And the final score stands Vanuatu 1 and Fiji 1. Fiji led in the first half with Christopher Wasasala goal. There are the two sets of coaching staff that just came on the screen.